Hey guys, it's Liz here, and I am back with another Daily Dose of Guidance. As per usual, I will be, uh, or at least my intention, is to start with the Energy Oracle cards to receive our guidance for today. Now, I did see Misty off to the side here sunbathing, but she may yet show up. We also have Luna off to the side here. She was napping, but she is awake. So there's a very likely chance that we will see her on camera. Because <laughs> she's a Gemini. So pay attention to me. So we are here, though, to receive our guidance for today. So I'm just shuffling the cards here, tapping into that divine wisdom. As usual, I've already called on the you know divine wisdom and the angels and the ascended masters and our spirit guides, all that jazz to aid us in giving a message of guidance for today that will serve our highest good. Now I also have some other cards here uh, as well, just in case the message either doesn't want to come through the energy oracle cards, or um, I am guided to sort of expand upon the message through one of the other decks. So, let's see if anything is going to come through the energy oracle cards. Sometimes they pop up right away, and sometimes they need a minute. So let's see. We may need to switch decks. Sometimes it does take a minute. Sometimes it takes a minute for the if more than one card wants to come up especially at once. Uh, sometimes it takes a minute for the cards to get in placement. Oh, here we go. That one. Okay. We've been getting her a lot lately. We got her in reverse, though. So we have the second. Let's see. Here we go. So we have the second chakra and the Archangel Ariel, but in reverse. Okay, and so that second chakra is the sacral chakra. So I'm actually going to switch over to the chakra cards, see if anything wants to come through there. That's going to give us um, a little more um, clarity on what this message is going to be about. So... Maybe there's, uh, so we know that there, because it's in reverse, that the sacral chakra, and we've been getting it for a couple days now, uh, and we've been getting um, Archangel Ariel for a little bit now, that there is some kind of imbalance, whoop, or a block um, in that sacral chakra. So let's take a look at what has come up through the chakra cards. Okay. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, and they came in reverse. Okay. So we have inner child in reverse, uh, which is, it's, this is, it's coming up as a, in the, in this deck, it comes up as a heart chakra card, but, uh, in my experience and knowledge and all that jazz, uh, inner child is typically a sacral chakra card okay so the person that made this deck there it's not saying that they're incorrect we just believe the inner child resides in different chakras okay so we also have which is a very heart chakra card we do have forgiveness which is heart chakra but again it's in reverse okay so this is letting us know, and I think I might have mentioned it yesterday because we had, um, we had this yesterday, okay? But the, or maybe, like I said, we've been getting, uh, some of these, like the, this card here, we've been getting it upright and reversed for a little while now, so. The inner child here is clearly they, um, they need some kind of, they either need some kind of forgiveness or they need to give forgiveness, okay, in order to um, heal maybe a trauma, okay, because we have with the sacral chakra, 
okay? Which is, again, inner child. This is uh, creativity, passion. It's related to the sexual organs, or the sex organs, rather, rather than sexual. Sex organs. <laughs> Sorry, I misspoke. Okay. Uh, and um, this sort of... Um, and it has the sexual energy. Now, it can be, like, romantic, whatever, okay? And here comes the mo. Here, here she comes. Okay, so it, it may, you know, sometimes it does refer to, like, sexual passion, okay? More often than not, though, it's more related to um, the, creati the childlike creativity and passion, in that regard, okay? It's more related to the um, to being more like childlike or inner child energy, okay? And so we got this inner child in reverse, so, and there's also, oh, and here comes the Luna. Hi, guys. Hi, everybody. Here they come. Here. Let me see if I can move this without the ring light falling on my face. Here we go. Okay, so with the sacral chakra, uh, being in reverse, okay, that to me means that there is some kind of energy either blocking or causing an imbalance. It could even be an overactivation, but because we have forgiveness and inner child in reverse, the energy just really feels more like a block to me, okay? Ah, oh, she's so nasty. Ugh. Oh. It's the, it's, it's the sounds. I don't know if you can, if the mic here picks it up. I don't know if you can hear that. But when she takes a bath, it's, it's just the nastiest sound. It's so, oh, okay. Back to the reading. So, to me, I'm hearing there's some kind of trauma that is relating to the inner child, okay? Or your, you know, there's the inner child, your younger self, Okay. So this could be, because it's in the sacral chakra, this could be sexual trauma, okay? Not trying to trigger anybody, but it could be that. It's not necessarily that, though, okay? Because this is also, the sacral chakra is a feminine um, chakra, and, you know, it has the Archangel Ariel that is a feminine angel. Um, again, when I say something like feminine, I don't mean, like, um, someone who identifies as female, as a woman or a girl, okay? It's just an energy. Angels, I will refer to angels as, I will use pronouns such as he, she, okay? Um, but that's more based off the feminine, masculine energy. Uh, these angels don't actually have, ah, see, we got a notification. We're onto something. So angels don't actually have a gender, they just come through as an energy. So you might even hear me say something like, um, I might refer to Gabriel and I'll say something like, I heard her. Okay. Some people feel that uh, Gabriel is a masculine energy. So they'll use, um, you know, the pronoun he, him. Okay. But they don't actually have a gender. They're energy. Okay. So when I say feminine, I mean... I mean it as an energy, not a gender, okay? So, this energy, this feminine energy is also is a nurturing energy, okay? So, you may not have had, like, a sexual trauma, but you may have felt like um, you weren't nurtured properly as a child, okay? Or maybe, and that maybe is something that is even going through. So, typically... This kind of, whether you want to call it emotional baggage or trauma, okay? Typically, this happens in childhood, and then it can snowball as we get older. Um, but there are certain situations, okay, where it does start a little later in life, okay? Maybe there was, again, some kind of sexual trauma that happened maybe later in life that caused this blockage, okay? But... Uh, and it may even be something where um, something may have happened, I don't know what, but where you fell into sort of this mindset that um, of maybe overgiving to someone else, like you're just like you're, you're a caregiver, right? You're like that cancer in energy, you're a caregiver, and you're just like, I take care of other people, but you forget to nurture yourself, 
Okay, there may be some kind of energy here that says I'm not worthy, I'm not deserving. Okay, it could be even subconscious or unconscious. Hi, Misty. Okay. Um, and so this energy of, and so the inner child is feeling neglected. Either the, either you felt neglected as a child and or you're neglecting your, your inner child now. Okay. You're neglecting yourself and your inner child now, or you have been for a few years. Okay. So this forgiveness card in reverse, obviously that would mean that you have not um, worked on that energy of forgiveness. So it could be the forgiveness required here is to forgive um, either, because I don't want to be too triggering here is what I'm trying to like kind of avoid here. Okay, so if I say something like um, maybe you were, uh, there's some sexual trauma in your in your past. If I say, you know, you need to forgive in order to move forward, that may be very triggering for you if that's not something you've been trying to work on. Okay, that energy of healing this wound. Okay. So, I will say, in healing this wound, okay, if this is something where you have trauma, it might not even be sexual, okay, Maybe there is, you know, you felt neglected by your caregivers when you were younger or, you know, again, emotional baggage. It may be something that is emotional baggage that you would not label as trauma. Okay, so whether this is emotional baggage, mental baggage, okay, and or trauma of some kind, that if you're not at a place where you're like, if you're like, I resist, I do not want to forgive. They don't deserve it. Okay. What have you. Or, you know, they were really toxic and they're still toxic and I just want nothing to do with that whatsoever. Okay. We're going to try to heal this wound still through the heart chakra. Maybe forgiveness is not going to be something you're going to be able to heal this energy through, but we are going to focus on the heart chakra. Okay. And healing Focusing that energy on yourself, okay? Because we do have this energy of, um, you know, caregiving and taking care of everyone else. So now we're going to, because we do have technically two heart chakra cards here, okay? So this is letting us know we really need to focus in on that heart chakra um, and focus that energy and self-love and nurturing on ourselves, okay? So we're going to kind of shift that energy, whatever that is, and we're going to heal it because the heart chakra is naturally healing, naturally transmuting, naturally integrating, okay? So we come into that heart chakra and maybe we don't want to focus in on forgiving someone else, okay? If that is the case. So we're going to focus in on our own healing and nurturing ourselves, okay? We're going to give ourselves the energy of respect, love, compassion, Maybe we even need to forgive ourselves, okay? So this energy could also be speaking to that. Maybe we want to forgive ourselves for not what happened to us in childhood or any of that, okay? Because that's like victim blaming ugh, stuff, okay? I'm talking about not nurturing yourself when you were old enough to do so, right? Okay, so you maybe made the conscious, subconscious, or unconscious decision to not focus any loving, nurturing energy towards yourself. Okay, so we're going to work on the energies of building our sense of self-worth, our sense of value, self-value, feelings of, you know, I deserve to, you know, be loved and cared for and nurtured. Okay, we're going to give that to ourselves, okay? all of that energy, okay, and focusing on, because I know I needed this, this was something that I worked through, that I went through, my childhood was complete chaos, abuse across the board, okay, misty now, okay, and as a result, when I was younger, one of the, because I was, uh, I had sexual abuse in my childhood, and for many, many years, because of this, 
and you know not having had counseling and like proper counseling and therapy I was just very resistant to it that I turned what happened to me against myself so I would you know I was someone who I was uh, someone who did self-harm of all kinds okay like all kinds like physical sexual all kinds mental emotional just all all the all of the self-harm I turned what happened what I did what happened to me as a child and I turned it against myself okay and then, and then years down the road I had I got to a place where I was like I need to forgive myself for doing that right and so this may also be speaking to you as well okay that you may have turned something that happened to you you may have then you know done the you know it's my fault right there's that feeling of it's my fault I deserve to hurt okay that was my my mindset was what happened to me was my fault I deserve to hurt of course it was not it was not I was a very young child none of it was my fault none of it is your fault but that's kind of how we interpret it when we're very young some of the time okay and so this may be you as well that you did the same that you did some kind of conscious self-harm on yourself and now you need to forgive yourself for that okay it could also be something a little less you know like trauma and heavy okay it might just be that you've neglected yourself for a very long time right you've put other people before you maybe you know you put your partner before you you put your kids before you you put your job before you okay you you, you know, are, are a caregiver so you're putting your friends your family everyone is ahead of you and your cup is empty and you've been running on empty for a very long time okay so you may need to do some forgiveness work right talking to your inner child and doing some forgiveness work uh, for yourself for neglecting yourself okay it might not be something as heavy as trauma okay so it might be something along those lines but we are being that is our our message for today though is to go into the heart chakra do a little introspection okay and give ourselves okay like I said if we're not at a place yet or at all you may you may not get to that point that's completely fine where you want to forgive someone who caused you harm in the past if you're just like nope can't do can't won't resistant will not do that that's completely fine okay um, I will say though that if you're still in the energy of holding on to you know anger and resentment if you're really holding on to the trauma that's where you might want to look at doing some you know therapy counseling trauma-informed coaching something along those lines some kind of energy healing technique something like that to help you cut those cords okay and to to let go of that energy you okay because that is going to cause you a great deal of harm if you're still holding on to um the trauma energy of what happened to you okay like I said this has nothing to do with that other person and like forgiving them or anything like that okay this is really about just cutting those cords that attachment so that you can move forward um, okay so you're not just constantly stuck in the past of this traumatic event okay you want to cut those cords and move forward okay so there's also that part of it too okay Okay, so, but that is our message for today, is to, um, to do some healing work and do some nurturing around that inner child, okay? Part of that, again, is going into, so you may want to actually do an inner child meditation of some kind or journaling exercise where you actually speak with, you communicate with your inner child and see exactly what is it that you need, right? What do you need? What do you want? Right? Hear what they have to say without, yeah, butting them. Okay? Because we have a tendency to do that with kids, whether it's our inner child or, you know, other physical children. Right? We tend to, yeah, but them. Okay? So we want to just listen to what the inner child has to say and then honor that. Honor how they feel. Okay? They might not even tell you, this is what I want, this is what I need. They might tell you this is what I feel okay and you want to honor that okay without that's you know we're not yeah budding we're just honoring this is how you feel okay and then 
doing some work to help heal any of that trauma or emotional baggage energy. Okay, and we're going to do that through the heart chakra. This could be, again, self-forgiveness or cutting cords from, you know, past trauma that was done to us. Or just focusing in on that heart chakra of, um, in the sacral. Ah, see, we got another notification, so we're on to something. So we want to focus in on the energies of the sacral chakra and the heart chakra, both feminine chakra energies, okay? And so we're nurturing, we're self. This is self-nurturing self-care, self-love, self-worth, okay? So we're really going um, inward, which is a feminine energy. When we go, that's an internal, right? Internal uh, energy is feminine. Masculine is external, right? We project, we go out, okay? So feminine energy means we go in, okay? So we're going to go into the heart chakra today, and we're going to speak, we're going to communicate with our inner child, and see what they have been trying to communicate to us and we just haven't been listening. Okay? Let's see what they have, what they have to say. What, what do they feel? What do they need? What do they want? Okay? And honoring that. Okay? Okay. That is our message for today, beautiful soul. I hope you found it helpful. And I will see you tomorrow with another Daily Dose of Guidance.